All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Today we're gonna to be cutting some chicken. We're gonna cut it this time into what we like to call chicken galantine. So basically we're gonna take the whole bird, we're gonna debone it all, but we're gonna keep the meat and skin intact in one sheet. In that way, traditionally a galantine would maybe be filled with force meat, which is sort of a sausage filling with different garnishes folded in, rolled up, and then poached, or could also be roasted, which is what we do in the butcher rotation. First thing we do, we get rid of the flat on the wing. Okay, remember last time when we broke down chicken, you find the joint, same here, you find the joint, and we wanna save the flat for your hot wings. Tips for chicken stock. In almost the same exact way that we take half of a chicken off the carcass is how we start. So down the middle of the breast. This is where we'll find your breastbone. And we work it nearly the same exact way. So again, I'm working my way down. Right here, you can kind of see there's no wishbone there because it broke off and the piece is actually right there. There it is right there. You can use a variety of different knives to do this. Again, this knife is made for butchering chicken. Your curved or straight boning knife is a great tool for this task. The membrane back here, you want to get rid of a little bit. And then again, we have this bone down here, we want to cut right under it, but do not cut through the skin. After we do that and separate right there, we then pop it, actually right there, okay, so that we can see the thigh bone. After we do that, up here, remember this bone connects to your drumette on the other side. That is where we want to cut gently, but again, not through the skin this time. Once that's finished there, do the same exact thing on the other side. You might have recalled last time, we took the whole thing off the carcass by just cutting it off and we had half of a chicken, basically. This time, We're working our way down the other side. Okay, again, separate right there. Back here. Separate there. And pop work our way down. Now that all that's separated up here, you can look at where the neck is and start to kind of peel the skin back and the meat. You can kind of see what I'm doing is pulling this carcass off of the bird right here. Once we get down here, we know that there is oysters there. So at this point, we go in and Cut the oyster out. See it right there? Okay. In this version, the oyster's right there. And we're gonna separate that socket right here. Do the same thing on this side. As you can see, the thigh bone right there was in that socket. There's a tendon holding it together. I'm gonna separate that. Once that is separated, you can then just hold this and pull the carcass off. So we have a clean carcass right there. You can see this is where the oysters were. 
so it's ready to go. At this point, what I like to do is take off the drumette bone, and the way I do it is from the inside. From here, I hold it, cutting down where the meat is, cutting around the bone, kind of like you are Frenching it, but actually from the inside this time. And I pull it in. So now you have your drumette and the meat of the drumette came all the way inside. Same thing on this side. Alright, and there you have that. Now you are basically going to be making two boneless chicken legs, as you might have recalled. All right, and I can lift up the bone and go around. And remember, we scraped that meat down follow it to the drumstick and do the same thing. Remember, you want to avoid leaving that kneecap in there. There you go. Here, remember, if there are a lot of tendons, we want to take them out. Same thing on the other side. We have three areas now that are boneless. This is the final side that we need to clean up. Here we go again. All right, so here we have a full sheet of chicken ready to go. Pull off your tenders. What I like to do is cut the breast in half like this to even out the thickness of the meat. We'll remove a little bit of the excess fat. And as you can see, there are a few holes in our galantine. So this is what we do to fill them. You have this piece of the thigh here. I like to cut it like so and put it right where that kneecap was. Again, like so. And then with the tenders, they fit perfectly right here and right here. And with these two, the piece of the breast that you cut off earlier. There you have it. Your full sheet of chicken. Galantine ready to be stuffed. Again, this would be seasoned really well with salt, pepper, herbs. Okay, you can season it. 
You can then put your log of force meat in there in the center and then wrap it up, roll it up like so. You will lightly truss it or wrap it in plastic wrap and poach it or truss and roast. There you have it.